Afternoon guys, how are you all doing today? Hope you're uh, enjoying this uh, amazing bank holiday weekend that we're having. Um, I thought I'd just uh, do a little review of uh, the game yesterday. Uh, I, I actually only just got to watch it this morning in full because I was out doing a gig yesterday afternoon and having a little barbecue, enjoying the, the good English weather on a bank holiday weekend for one Sunday and a few drinks, you know. So um, yeah, just got around to watching the game this morning or uh, re-watching it in full. Um, and Manchester United, obviously, another another victory. Three wins on the bounce now for us. Uh, ten goals, zero goals conceded. And, um, you know, it's continuing to look good. Look good for us, isn't it? Um, did, uh, more difficult opposition yesterday. I thought which we expected. You know, they've got a little bit more of a threat uh, going forward than we, we had with the, uh, the other teams that we've played, West Ham and Swansea so far. And... Uh, I thought we were good for the win. Um, I thought we played well. Uh, we could have been easily 3 or 4 nil, um result again, I think. Uh, but Leicester had their chances as well, and we did struggle. Um, and struggle, but we, at times we did struggle to break them down or um, create uh, that, those clear-cut chances in the final third. But um, particularly after that penalty, you know, you were thinking, oh, God, it's going back to last season. Not going to be our day again. But at the same time, there's almost a positive... A positivity now with this team that we didn't have last year and I think it's from what we've seen in the first two games obviously but in terms of the team itself it's just something that's shifted you know they look more confident and don't get me wrong you know we should be winning these games but we weren't doing it last season and I, and I think that's what is so encouraging um, about it obviously we're only three games in so Again, you know, was it City won 10 games, the first 10 games last season, so we can't get massively, massively carried away. But, you know, to win your first three games and, you know, score 10, concede none, you're going to be optimistic. <laughs> Come on. Um, yeah, and it was great. The other thing is, as well, of course, is that we've now had pretty much a set uh, starting lineup for the first three games, bar Martial or Rashford, um, you know, switching over. Which is brilliant, you know, it's, it's great to have a settled team. I, I did think last year, as much as we needed to rotate, obviously because it's Europe and like in Europa League, um, you know, we Josie didn't really seem to know his best team. Now I think he does, uh, certainly with the players that we've got available. It will change a little bit, obviously, as time goes by, but certainly as a spine, I think he knows who he's picking week in, week out. Um, I think we will see a bit of rotation between Martial and Rashford. If we stay with this kind of same formation that we seem to have been playing in the first few games, we will see a bit of rotation between them. But Jose will play players on form, and that's what he said. You know, whoever is the form player will play will play in the team. And that's why Martial got the nod against the head of Rashford. Rashford's not been playing badly um, at all, but Martial has come on. Two games now as substitute. Is it Thirty minutes he's played and he scored two goals. Is it two goals to assist? I think. Um, well, maybe two goals, one assist. But either way, you know, you can't if you're in that kind of form, then you you should be starting. So Jose is true to his word, and I thought Martial had a good game yesterday. I thought he was showing some really nice little touches here or there. Um, but of course, the substitutes are working for us, and vice versa. Now Rashford comes on. And grabs that it breaks makes the breakthrough breakthrough for us and Fellaini obviously the stunning finish, um, it's it's boding very well for Manchester United. You know, as I say, we we're, we're at the start of the season. Other teams are, are playing well as well, um, and and other teams that aren't doing so well are going to come up and, and get better. That's that's a fact. But um, another encouraging performance for us. Um, also, just wanted to speak a little bit about the uh, the Champions League draw as well, because that obviously came out on Friday, um, and we have a pretty favourable draw, to uh, to say the least. The only tricky one, I think, is Moscow, just because we've got to travel um, that distance away, which, as you know, in the Europa League last year, that's it's a bit of a nightmare for teams or, you know, whatever job you're doing, you know, travelling to those kind of places is always a bit of a nightmare, but takes a toll physically on your body. Uh, and obviously playing on a, the they've got a plastic pitch and plastic pitch, but they've got um they've got a proper turf up there there. So I think in Moscow, Benfica, really you know we should be beating that team. Basel, I know we've had issues with them before, but all three teams really we should be getting a result against. So it's it's going to be great to be back in the Champions League, but that's a very very good draw compared to people who like Spurs, you know teams that Spurs have like Spurs have got. 
we've done very well out of that. Um, bit of transfer news this morning as well, just because um, uh, I'm, I'm doing this on a Sunday. Um, Gareth Bale has been linked with Manchester United once again for £92 million. Pounds. Um, do we need him? Even if, even if it is the case, and I honestly do not think we're going to ever get Gareth Bale, and I certainly don't think we've got a bid for him, a bid in for him. Do we really need him? Let me know. See what. You, let me know what you, what you think of the comments. Uh, send those over to me. Um, personally, I think at the moment we've got other areas that we could strengthen, but I, I think we're done. I think we're done. We've got Eber in now, which. People saying, you know, it's not necessarily the best decision if he's going to take over Lukaku's role. I don't think he is. Um, you know, fair enough. You know, if he's in form and Lukaku's having a bit of a dip, why not play him? You know, give give Romelu a bit of a rest. But there's no doubt in my mind that Romelu Lukaku, and I think Jose thinks the same as well, is the number one striker for Manchester United. Zlatan, though, will be an integral part to that team. Um, back, off, you know, not backstage, but, you know, um, off the pitch, but also... You know, in games when we need someone to come in and do a job for us and potentially grab goals off the off the bench, as we've already seen this season, this this squad works brilliantly as a squad, um, and and it is gonna it's gonna carry on to be that in the rest of the season. I think the 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 element of using your squad now in modern football, especially when you're in the Champions League, in the cups as well, is very very important. And when you've got someone like Zlatan to come off the bench, you know that's. That's a pretty good option. I mean, we have such a strong bench now. So um, if we had Gareth Bale plonk him on the bench there, it wouldn't be too bad either, would it? But um, anyway, I just thought I'd do a little review uh, of a couple of things going on at the moment and the match review. Um, hopefully I'm going to get a review in over the next few weeks for sort of the rest of the games and a few previews as well. Uh, time's a little bit restricted for me at the moment, but um, I want to try and... Uh, Put that content out there again. Let me know what you think. Eh? You know, comment on the videos. Uh, you know, do you think we're doing well this season? Obviously, we are. But do you think it's going to continue? Do you think we need anyone else in the new transfer window? Um, yeah, let me know what, what you think. But obviously, as usual, if you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe. Uh, thanks for all the guys who um, have uh, subscribed recently as well. Really, really appreciate it. Um, and uh, if you can share the channel. That'd be, uh, that'd be great because I'm just trying to build up as much as I can. All right, well, uh, have a nice uh, rest of your weekend. I'm going to go have a beer. Nice one.